Hey curl friends, it's Gabrielle Eichel. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will take you through my wash day. I am doing the no oils, no butter, natural hair detox, and I'm loving it so far. So this is actually week four. If this is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. <laughs> Hey guys, so I unfortunately had the camera too low and you cannot see my whole head as I try to show you what it looks like before washing it. So like I mentioned before, this is week four of the natural hair detox. It's been about four weeks since I got my curly cut and I'm enjoying it. So I am going in with high quality shampoo and conditioners. For the shampoo, I'm using the Innersense Organic Beauty Hydrating Cream Hair Bath, and I will leave links to the products that I'm using in the description box below. And I'm doing as my Cut a Kinky Alum Hair Stylist told me to do, to separate and swipe as I apply the shampoo to my hair right now i'm actually dipping my hair in a little bit of water because water helps activate the shampoo so you really don't need a lot of it because a little goes a long way so i am just going through my hair raking it and kind of also detangling it at the same time because this shampoo is moisturizing it is not harsh on my hair at all i don't know if it was me getting my curly cut or me switching over to quality products, but my wash day has been a lot easier than it has in the past. And in the back, you'll see the Briogeo deep conditioner. I was tempted to use it for wash day, but I did not use it, which I'm really proud of because I really wanted to, because you know, you pay so much for these other products and then, you know, you go on this new journey and now you have to get new products, which are also very expensive. And I don't want to waste money. I like to get a good scalp massage in there while I'm shampooing so you can see that I'm using the balls of my finger to massage my scalp and not my nail. When I rinse it out, you can see that my hair is still a little puffy. It does not lay down when the water hits my hair. So it's still, we're still on a journey <laughs> and it still needs more water i need to keep doing this repetitively so that my hair can really really take in the water and be really hydrated for the conditioner i am going in with the inner sense hydrating cream conditioner and of course i emulsify it in my hands before applying it to my hair i was instructed by my stylist to uh, it's sort of like scrunching your hair in your hands to hear the water it's like a squeaky sound that you hear And that tells you that there is enough water to product ratio in your hair. So I do that and then I go in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. And the key to this brush, which I learned, is you wanna brush your hair first vertically. So up and down, you, you use the brush to go up and down and you start from the bottom. You just work your way slowly up to the top and if there are any tangles, you come back to the bottom and start over. And once you've gotten all the way to the top, you're able to turn the brush horizontally and then brush it like you would normally brush your hair. And so that's one thing that I, I learned. I did not like using this brush before because I didn't know how to properly use the brush. And I just felt like it was ripping my hair out. So you have to use this brush the way that is recommended to see good results and to love it. Now I absolutely love my Felicia Leatherwood brush. I like to section my hair just so that I know distinctly which pieces I've already worked on. So when, when you're using an expensive shampoo and conditioner, I don't wanna put too much on my hair unnecessarily. I don't wanna do the same section over because that's wasting product and I pay good money for this stuff. So <laughs> I do still section my hair, but it's for that reason and not necessarily it being tangled like I did prior to.
And I do like to twist the back of my hair when I'm done applying the conditioner because it's a little bit shorter back there. So I feel like that's the way that I can control that part of my hair. So yeah, I'm just moving around my head and working the conditioner in my hair section by section, making sure to emulsify in my hands before applying to my hair and just being gentle with it. You just don't wanna be rough with your hair if you want healthy, long hair. So being gentle and not rushing through it. So I like to schedule a few hours for my wash day just because I do not wanna rush through my hair. I'm sure we've all been in that situation where we have somewhere to go and we're trying to get through our hair and we're going really fast and rushing and you could potentially rip your hair out and all this other stuff. So I just prefer to take my time while I am doing my hair. This shot is the bottom of my shower so you can see all the hair that came out. And this clip is just me rinsing it out. I see that it's out of focus but it's like eight seconds, so on to the next clip. And <laughs> I guess I'm just too close to the camera, so the camera doesn't see my whole head. And I try to adjust it, but obviously it's not good enough. So now that I am out of the shower, I have my hair soaking wet. I no longer use towels to dry it because our hair loves water. My hair loves water, and it's really easy for me to style my hair while it's dripping wet. Instead of using a towel, I just put this robe on to collect the water that's dripping on me. And then still using my Felicia Leatherwood brush, I did the detangling in the shower, so for the most part, I'm good. I just like to brush it a few times. After I apply the Mousse Def Mousse by The Dew, and then I just twist up. So I like to do smaller twists. I know they take a little bit longer, but smaller twists make your hair, make your twist more defined. And the larger twists give your hair more volume. So I like definition over volume because you're gonna get the volume anyway over the course of a couple days. That's just how natural hair is. So I do strive for definition and make my twist a little bit smaller. It does take a little bit more time, but I don't mind that. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love to see my curls popping. Even if it's a little bit of definition, I I get so excited over it. And now with this new journey that I'm on, I see curls a lot more. And so I am not really comfortable doing a wash and go. I'll show you a picture of my wash and go when the stylist did it after my kinky cut and the first time I visited her so I got my little detox and all that if you're interested in seeing the full video of my salon visit then go ahead and check that out I'll leave the link in the cards above and in, in the description box below but uh, my hair is not really moisturized or hydrated yet it still has a lot of retaining re training and moisture retention to go personally I don't feel comfortable doing a wash and go until I feel that my hair is hydrated enough to hold those curls.
9.32, so three hours and 10 minutes. I finished twisting it up and the next day I come back to take my hair out. I like to use a satin scrunchie to kind of separate the twists on the top from the ones that I'm starting to take out just because satin is just extra protection. I'd rather use that than a regular scrunchie. Since I'm on this no oils and no butter detox, I do not use oils to help me separate my twist anymore. And so that means it's just gonna be a little bit frizzy until I find a better method of removing my twist. But for now, this is how it is. Okay, so you see how it's kind of frizzy up here? This is where I try to separate it and it didn't really do it well. So like I try to like pull it taut and then separate it like that where the hair is naturally pulling away. And so sometimes it's good, sometimes it's just puffy. Especially without using oil, it's just gonna, that's how it's gonna be. So. I was trying to make this my heavy side, but I don't even know if I like that anymore. But I have to go to work, so I'm just going to like pin it up over here, like that. And that is how we're gonna wear our hair today. This is the final look for now. If you enjoyed this video and how I did my twist out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post and until the next post, which is gonna be a week in my twist out, which is gonna be a cool video so you can see how my twist out evolves over the week. Until then, see you later.